I urge all of our colleagues to join us in voting to pass the CR so we can continue the work of negotiating and passing full year funding bills without a shutdown causing needless harm and chaos for folks back home. We know a shutdown come end of day Friday would be devastating. And I'll be frank, just the fact that our agencies have to continually plan around the potential of a shutdown nearly constantly is a huge opportunity cost. A shutdown tomorrow would force staff administering our nation's veterans and nutrition assistance programs and, and so much else to either work without pay or stop working altogether. The chair of the National Transportation Safety Board said a shutdown this week would force the board to hit pause on investigations it is conducting, including the recent incident when a door plug blew out mid-flight. This should not be an acceptable option to anyone. Now, I have been working nonstop with my colleagues in both chambers to keep this process moving as quickly as we possibly can so that we can write and pass the strongest possible funding bills. Passing this measure will allow us the time we need to hammer out those funding bills for fiscal year 24 after many months of needless delays. I think we all want this to be drama-free and reliable process, so I hope House Republicans will work with us to make that possible now too, which means leaving extreme partisan demands at the door. We are all working as quickly as possible, but we aren't going to lose sight of the millions of Americans who count on the programs we fund. Whether it's WIC for so many moms and babies, we don't want to go hungry, or life-saving health care research. We have a lot of work left to do. It has to happen in a bipartisan way. So let's get this CR passed and then work to make sure it is the last by keeping our focus on finalizing serious appropriations bills, which means no partisan poison pills and understanding that there needs to be a bipartisan agreement when it comes to key investments in our country's future. Thank you, Mr. President. I yield the floor.